Before COVID restrictions came in, we always visited the aged care home. A lot of the residents up there are either um, relatives of the students or friends. Um, it's a very, close, as I said, close-knit community. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our show. Um, we're happy to sing you some songs. Lucky the rain has stopped and we're going to sing some. We went up to the old care home and sang songs before we couldn't anymore. It was really fun because we weren't allowed to go inside, we went outside and my nan nan, she's one of the people. Some of them probably don't have the most angelic voices, but to me it was the sentiment that sort of really humbled me. And, you know, out of the mouths of babes, they really did, it was such an honest message that, hey, we, we know what you're going through, we're thinking of you. This is our little way of saying, you know, hang in there, you know, it'll be over soon. Yeah, you. As that was occurring, COVID was increasing, restrictions were um, being put in place and that restricted us um, from going up to the aged care home. So rather than prevent the kids from you know, having that opportunity to perform, um, Facebook was the next you know, logical step. Good morning from Ivanhoe Public School. My name is Faith. Sorry the lockdown, but I'm grateful that I'm at school with my teachers and friends. But if you're feeling lonely, here's Carlin to sing you a song. See you next Friday. They can feel down, but someone will always be there for them. They can't see them friends, but they can see us. This is a song for you guys because we can't, you can't see us anymore. Some people that are like locked down in Sydney and they haven't seen their family members since the start of the holidays. Right, I hope you're okay. Lockdown's gonna end soon. Nobody was there. Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of It's been fantastic. Not only has um, it given us an opportunity to showcase what we're doing in the classroom in general, but it's those other holistic things that we can offer as a small school um, that have got parents thinking, wow, I would love. I would love my child to experience that. And enrolments have pretty much doubled within the space of a term. Um, so we've jumped from seven to 15 or 16, I believe, uh, currently. sort of morphed into um, what we're hoping to hold at the end of this term, which is a Little Stars Under the Big Stars um, concert. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, that Keith Urban might be out there. He's a big hit with the kids um, and the staff. Right. Class, why is it that we would like Keith Urban to come to our school? Hands up if you have an answer, Gabby. Because we have a lot of people who are his biggest fans and we have been really down and we're also trying to send positive messages to the um, community. He can help us like kind of forget about all the lockdowns and he will just make us think of like all of his great songs that he sings. We're hoping maybe we're not that far from his Brisbane concert. If he came, it would lift all our spirits and that Miss J was a fan. We love him so much and him really did at singing and him ever did guitar. We don't have many people in Irvinville and everyone's in lockdown and we hope you can come because you can help be in our videos and tell everyone that it's okay, lockdown's going to be done soon. T for Ben sound like Irvinville. It's pretty much a 50-50 chance. Anything can happen, fingers crossed. Please, Keith. <laughs>